Shalom and good day all. This is Tehillim29 back again. And we are covering some fool's gold. And to those who don't know how fool's gold work, it works. I rate the cover, the art, and the story. Now this total is connected to how much I actually think this story and comic is worth. Now, as you can see the price there, it's $3.99 in the US. What does it convert to in the Australian? Just under $7. So, starting off with the most obvious, the cover. What is its rating? And does it have anything at all to do with the story? Well, half, half, so in some parts it does, other parts it doesn't. So a rating out of 10, 3.5 out of 10. Hey, I enjoy the colours, I enjoy the layout, but I think this one's infected with uh, a certain virus. <laughs> now let's get to the art. I don't really care about the spoiler here, but just showing some art of interest. And as you can see, uh, to those who are Super Suns fans, our favourite duo. And this is just another within the story. Art raising, also 3.5 out of 10. How much do I think the how much do I think the art is worth in this? Together, probably about $2.50 Australian. Let's get to the story. Did the story cover cast of characters? Yes, it did. Did it cover locations? It could have covered more locations. Uh, overall locations really shown. About one, even though there was more than one shown in there. What about time period as to when some of these things took place? In the present time period, wasn't really covered properly. Going back into the past, it was actually covered properly, so... Slightly getting better there, Bendis. Slightly. <laughs> I wouldn't call it the best. So, let's move on to the next thing. How about comic references? Zero, none at all. Probably wouldn't have gone astray in the story. Even if it was just to make reference to, say, maybe the last issue, it wouldn't go astray. Story rating overall. Well, considering John gets sent back into the computer for more orientation, uh, things are coming across through computer as very selective. Like certain scenes are being selected to show John for his orientation. Including around the stuff that happened with the Legion intentionally picking out John Samuel Kent. Superboy. And intentionally taking him away from his best friend. To which 
we know that Brian Michael Bendis has a bit of a fetish for Adolf Hitler, as we know in the last issue, or the issue before that, I think it was issue 3, not issue 5, yeah, it would have been issue 3, where he shows he's got a little bit of a fetish for Adolf Hitler and make wants to make Damien Little Hitler. Would I recommend you pick this story up? Well, I still haven't given it a rating yet. 1.5 out of 10. How much do I think the story's worth? 75 cents Australian. Add that all up, convert it into the US currency, and you're looking at quite a small amount of cash it's worth. It's not worth the $3.99. You can't bank on Bendis at DC Comics. And uh, this is the Fool's Gold. The Infected Legion of Stupid Heroes Edition. <laughs> oh, spoiler, at the end, they also find out where the Trident is. Let's keep it colourful!